Hello, my name is Keshwani. It's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 230. Page 230 and today is our lesson number 109, day 109. Problem number 2.7.3, 2.7.3. Turn to that page and read the problem to yourself. It says in a driving competition, Jeff and Dennis drove the same course at the average speed of 100, 151 for rather 51 miles per hour and a 54 miles per hour. What the hell? What kind of driving course is that? Uh, racing course is that? Guy is going like crazy. 51 miles an hour. So here is Jeff. He's going at 51 miles an hour and we are told that it takes him 40 minutes to do go around the course. We are also told that his buddy Dennis, who is just as daring, is going at 54 miles an hour. The question simply is how long will Dennis take to cover the same distance that this guy took 40 minutes to do. That's what it is. So let's, let's get going. Here's the solution. We know that Jeff, we are told that he drives 51 miles in one hour, which is same as saying, which is same as saying that J, Jeff takes 60 minutes or 51 miles. If he takes 60 minutes to go 51 miles, he must take 1 minute for for the 60th of the amount. 51 over 60. As you can see, 51 over 60 is less than 1, which of course makes sense because in 1 minute he go, he's going less than 1 mile. Because if he were going 1, one mile per minute, he would have, he, his speed would have been 50, he would, his speed would have been 60 miles per hour. The guy is only going 51 miles per hour. He's not even going, he's not even doing a mile per minute. As you can see here, 51 over 60. So, Jeff, Jeff takes 60 minutes to go 51 miles. That implies that he takes 1 minute for 51 over 60. He has 40 minutes. Therefore, in 40 minutes, in 40 minutes, he will go 40 times the amount. 40 times this amount. 51 over 60 times 40. That's all. We just have to figure out what that is. So let's do it, shall we? Let's do it here. Fifty-one over sixty times forty. Divide the top and bottom by ten. You knock out the zeros. Divide top and bottom by two. Four becomes two, and six becomes three. Fifty-one, as you can see. Fifty-one, as you can see, the sum of the digits of fifty-one is five plus one. Five plus one is six. Therefore, fifty-one is divisible by three. So let's knock out the threes. How many how many threes in a five? There is one three in a five. The remaining two goes and joins this guy. Becomes twenty-one, and there are seven. There are seven threes in the twenty-one. So he's going he's going a total distance of seventeen times two or thirty-four miles. Thirty-four miles. That's the total amount of distance that he's traveling. One more time if you like. You can do it here. Divide top and bottom by ten. Uh, divide top and bottom by three. Five has one three. Two goes and joins this guy, becomes twenty-one, that's seven. And 6 is going to become 2. And 2 will cancel out with this 4, giving us 17 times 2. Now that we know that the other guy, Dennis, the other guy, Dennis, now that we know that he has to go 34 miles, he has to go 34 miles, and he's going at a speed of 54 miles per hour, all we have to do is figure out how long it takes, all we have to do is figure out how long it takes to travel 34 miles at the speed of 54 miles per hour. Let's do it. Now before we do that work, there was a quicker way. There was a quicker way of doing all of this thing. Here's a quicker way. Or should I say the so-called quicker way? The quicker way is to realize that 
the guy is the guy is taking the guy is taking 60 minutes to go fifty one miles that's his speed sixty minutes in he takes he takes sixty minutes to go fifty one miles that comes from the fact that he's going fifty one miles per hour sixty one miles per hour that tells us that he takes one hour to go fifty one miles one hour is same as sixty minutes so he takes sixty minutes to go fifty one miles which is what this is the amount of time that he actually travels is forty minutes but forty minutes is simply forty minutes which you realize right away that forty minutes is simply Two third of an hour. That's what forty minutes is. Twenty minutes is a third of an hour. Forty minutes is two third of an hour. So, guy is taking sixty minutes to go fifty one miles. Guys, right? I should write one hour here. The guy is taking one hour to go fifty one minutes. Therefore, in two third of an hour, he will go. Two-third the amount. That's it. Two-third of fifty-one. Two-third of fifty-one. And you will see again, we're going to get the same result because fifty-one divided by three, as we saw a little while ago, fifty-one divided by three, three. There, are, there is one three in five. The remaining two goes and joins, joins the one becomes twenty-one, and there are seven threes in twenty-one, and we get two times seventeen, just like before. So we can do it in minutes like we did here, or we can simply realize that 40 minutes is two thirds of an hour, therefore if he's going 51 miles in one hour, if he's going 51 miles in one hour, then in two thirds of an hour he will go two thirds the amount, two thirds the amount, or two thirds of 51. Two thirds of 51 as we just saw is 34. Now we'll do our act two. Okay? In act two, In Act 2, the question is, the question is, how long does it take to go 34 miles at 54 miles per hour, 54 miles per hour, which is the Dennis guy, this is for Dennis. So let's find out. Well, a person can go 54 miles in 60 minutes, which is which is what his speed is. His speed is 54 miles per hour, which is same as 54 miles per 60 minutes. 54 miles in 60 minutes, which means he must go one mile in 60 over 54 minutes. As you can see, as you can clearly see, 60 over 54 is more than a minute. Of course, it takes him more than a minute to go one mile. Why does it take him more than a minute to go one mile? Because in one, because why does it take him more than a minute? 60 over 50 is more than one. Why does it take him more than one minute to go one mile? Because his speed is less than 60 miles an hour. At the at exactly 60 miles an hour, if somebody were traveling exactly 60 miles per hour, at that at that speed, it will take you exactly one minute to go one mile. Because he's going slower than 60 miles per hour, it's going to take him a little over one minute per mile, as you can see here. But he has to go. He has to go 34 miles. The amount of distance that he needs to travel is 34 miles. Therefore, 34 miles. 34 miles should take. 34 times that amount, I need the room, should take 34 times this amount, 60 over 54. All we have to do is simplify this thing and that's our answer. Let's do it together, shall we? I'm going to erase the bottom part also, we don't need it. Let's do it. Let's do it. What can we do here? 
Let's not think too much about it. Let's just uh, let's just get going. Five, sixty, and fifty-four. Let's divide by two. Sixty becomes thirty. And how many how many twos in a five? There is two twos, and then one becomes one joins and goes four joins the four becomes fourteen, and that gives us twenty-seven. I see twenty-seven. I see thirty. Let's divide top and bottom by three. Thirty becomes ten, and twenty-seven becomes nine. And that's about it. That's all we can do here. So what we are left with is. 34 times 10 on the top and 9 on the bottom. 34 times 10 is 340 divided by 9. That's our answer. Let's divide it here. 340 over 9. How many 9's in a 34? How many 9's in a 34? Well, let's put down the 9's table. 9, 18, 27, and 36. As you can see, we cannot go four times, obviously, because if we could go four times, the answer would be 40, but 340 divided by 9 is clearly less than 40. So it's three times, and that uses up 27 out of 34. We have used up 27 out of 34, so 27, 34 minus 27 would be 4 plus 3, 7. 7 goes and joins this guy, it becomes 70. How many 9s and a 70? Let's find out. So here we have 45. Then we have 54, if you add, keep adding 9 to it. And then if you add another 9 to 54, 54 plus 10, 10 is 64, so it's going to be 63. And you can't go anymore. So that's 7 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. That's 7 times, and that uses up 63. And that gives you the remainder 63. 70 minus, 70 minus 63 gives us the remainder of 7. And that's our answer. It will take him 37 and 7 ninth, 37 and 7 ninth minutes to travel the same course. Now what I did just now here, what I did just now here, I'm going to show you here with the long division so you can understand it. I'm going to show you the long division. What can I show you? Let's, let's, let's show it here. 340 divided by 9. Yeah. We're doing the same thing, but we're doing the same thing that we did here, but in a long division. How many how many nines in a three? There are zero zero threes in a nine. Uh, zero, there are zero nines in a three. It becomes thirty-four. It joins this three joins four it becomes thirty-four. How many nines in a thirty-four? There are three nines in a thirty-four. Nine three is a twenty-seven, and that's where we got this three. There are three nines in a thirty-four. Thirty-four minus twenty-seven is seventy. This seventy. The remaining 7 here goes and joins this guy, becomes 70. You see? This 7 goes and joins this guy, becomes 70. How many 9's in 70? We just found out that there are 7 9's in 63. There are 7 9's in 63. With a remainder of 7. Which is where we're getting, which is where we're getting 37 and 7 9. Right here, 37 and 7 9. This 0 is irrelevant. That's it, that's your answer, that weird answer is your answer. Now if they were asking approximately how many minutes, then you would say 38 minutes. Do they say approximately? No, they do not. They do not. It takes him approximately 38 minutes to travel the same course that took his buddy 40 minutes. He, he saves 3 minutes because of the fact that he's going 54 miles an hour as opposed to 51 miles an hour. Is going faster. That's it, we're done. I will see you tomorrow on day number 110. Alright, bye now.